Hello you guys, what is up? For today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my backup little bins here of body care, hair care, and skincare goods. And I also have this amazing iced coffee here that I recently made, I shared it with you guys on Instagram. And then also if you guys do follow me on Instagram, I recently got this like unit where I just situate my clothes. It was, it's so much better than what I had before because before it was way too messy. So I usually, I pretty much keep those bins that I just shared with you guys, like, sorry like up there, you know, so it's easily accessible. I can grab and go whenever I need. I know where everything's at and it's neat and organized, which was my vision all along. Also, here is the vibe of the room. I feel like I always share with you guys how the room looks when it's like neat and organized. And now it's kind of like, it's not messy, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like the neatest ever. Um, so yeah, just wanted to say that. Also, we had a roach here the other day. Ugh, this whole area, this whole little zone. I'm grossed out from he was on his back living life okay so let's get started with my favorite little bin here you, you probably guessed it it's this one okay so first up i have my tree hut body scrubs so yeah this whole little bin here is dedicated just to the tree hut body scrubs i've been loving their products for a while now even before they became popular they're just their products are really solid especially their body scrubs so i have nine here to share with you all so first up i have the cotton candy shea sugar scrub this is amazing i actually pulled it out of my shower just to share with you guys you know the vibe of it because it really is very like it's amazing this here smells like pure cotton candy there's a little bit of like um strawberry in there too i want to say and it also has little little baby specks of glitter but it doesn't really translate much on the actual skin um i would say a little bit more on the sweeter side when it comes to scents but not overly sweet but you get a glimpse of like that cotton candy life you know this is really really good one of my favorites and i'm not such a sweet girl fan they did it perfectly with this one Next up, we have the Desert Haze Shea Sugar Scrub. This is fantastic. This right here is actually one of their newer scents. I picked it up in a store, but it is available online. Love this one. It has like a nice, very like hot smell, like very put together smell, very sophisticated. It has a really nice high quality scent, and I think it's one of their best ones out there. I'm fully in love. Next up, we have the Charcoal Sugar Scrub. This right here definitely has a pretty charcoaly scent you could smell the charcoal but it's not overdone and i would say there's a little bit of ginger in here as well this is pretty good not my favorite but it's not bad next up we have the vanilla bean sugar scrub this pretty much does smell like vanilla bean like they have it spot on it also says it has minoy oil which i don't know what that smells like but this is just a vanilla scent pretty classic but has a little twist to it too i love it next up we have the watermelon sugar scrub this is delicious um this legit smells like pure watermelon and i love how there's like the little black seeds in there it just it just amps it up you know so i would say this definitely does smell like candy this right here does have vegan collagen which is supposed to help with skin elasticity okay, it's supposed to give you a nice like youthful looking glow as well as the other ones but this one right here even more so next up we have the bohemian escape scent Scent. this has a very clean scent to it like very shampoo like like one of those good shampoos that you buy from the drugstores like that's what it kind of smells like it also says that it has turmeric in here um, that's supposed to tone your body next up we have this one in tropic glow this one's supposed to be a dupe for the brazilian boom boom queen by sol de janeiro i would say it's pretty spot on i'm not gonna say it smells exactly like it but very very similar at a fraction of the cost this, this mainly has pistachio and the formula of this one is supposed to be firming the next one that i have is the firming sugar scrub this smells just like coffee so if you like like that coffee sh scrub this is amazing um it has caffeine for firming the skin and it also has matcha as well this is super solid stuff and I really, this is one of my favorites. Even though I don't really love coffee scented things always, they, they did it right with this one for sure. And then the final one that I have here is Pink Champagne. Um, this right here has like a, I would say somewhat maybe strawberry-ish scent to it. It's really good. It's a little more on the sweeter side, I would say, but also not overdone. I love it. So that's pretty much it in regards to this little bin here. Hopefully when I get more of these or when they release newer scents, you know, I'll just add it to my collection. I have space for another nine. Otherwise, I cannot get more than that because it's not going to fit in here. But love these a ton. If you haven't tried any of the Tree Hut body scrubs, they're so nice on the skin. 10 out of 10. And bin number two, here's pretty much what I have. So to start off, I have one of these exfoliating sponges. This is great if you have cellulite. I've gone through a few of these. You can buy these at Marshalls or Ulta and you can use it up to 20 times. So I think it's pretty good. They have a few different scents as well. 
I also have this, which is also an exfoliating sponge. I think you could use it up to maybe like 40 times. So I'll probably use this once I'm done with the other sponges that I have. I have an extra loofah in here. I'm using a purple one currently. So this will be the next one that I'll pull out. I also have this coffee scrub, which as you can see, it's, a little, it's open. I used it once or twice. I wasn't a massive fan. I prefer the tree hot one. This is just way too crummy, you know, like there isn't really like a good grip to it, but I mean, it's decent. I also have this right here from Kopari, the Coconut Crush Scrub. Kopari also really makes amazing body care products. Haven't tried this yet, but I'm really, really excited to. It is more like a coffee scrub. The texture is amazing and it smells really good too. Um, I think this is going to be so beautiful on the skin. I cannot wait to use it. I also have the Pixi Glycolic Peel. This is really like mild on the skin. I really like it. I also love the lotion that's part of this line. Next, I have the Ofra Pomegranate Sugar uh, Body Scrub. I actually have a code with Ofra. It's just my name, Leora, for 20% off anything and everything on their site. But this is my second or third one. I really enjoy this body scrub. It's definitely more of like a not too mild, but not too harsh type of scrub, like right in the middle there. It really helps with exfoliation, and I just think it makes your skin feel amazing. So I really enjoy this one too. Next, I have the Sugar Face Scrub by Tree Hut. So like I mentioned, I love the Tree Hut brand. I wanted to give this a go, but I think it's really, really harsh for the face. Like it seems even harsher than the body scrubs. So I just put this in this bin right over here so that I'll be able to just use it for the body. I think for the body, it's perfect. For the face, it's definitely very harsh. Even if your face can handle it, I just feel like it's kind of like ripping things apart. So. I'm going to use this for the body. I also have the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub by First Aid Beauty. I adore this brand. Everything I've tried from them was amazing so far. With this one, I'm halfway through with it. Um, so I use it for a decent amount of time, but then I pulled it out to just give other body scrubs love. I do feel like the higher end feel with this one, and I think it's pretty on the skin. I love it. I also have the Ulta Beauty Calming Lavender Epsom Salt Baths here. I don't take baths in my house because I don't like my bathtub. So yeah, I don't really use this often. It does smell good. It smells like calming lavender, just as the name states. So I don't know, maybe when I go to a hotel, I'll, you know, whip this out or I don't even know. Maybe when I go to my mom or sister or when I move to a hotter place, maybe. But for now, it's chilling in here. I also have the Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt here as well. I think I've pur repurchased this a few times. This is also really great if you want to take baths. It's the lavender one. Lavender is great for like soothing and calming. Um, the salts in here are pretty fine, but they definitely add a vibe. So I just have a backup of this one in here. Again, don't really use it that often because when do I really take a bath? Never. But I have used a few packs of these in the past when I was taking baths regularly when I lived by my mom and stuff. Um, and I really, really liked it. You get this huge pack and it's super affordable at like Target. I believe that's where I buy it from. Yeah. I also have this tea tree oil salts. I have like, um, not the cutest toenails. Like they're very like brittle and they fall apart. I need to go to the doctor for whatever. I'm very lazy with it. They're not the hottest thing ever. So I bought this to kind of soak my feet in, but I only did it once and then put this in here. So there you go for that. <laughs> Next, I have the Soap and Glory Scrub for Joy um, Body Polish. This has a very um, grapefruity kind of scent. So if you don't like citrusy scents, you probably won't like this. I'm in between with it. I'm not fully in love, but I don't like hate it. It's a really nice scrub from the drugstore. It has more of like a lotion-y feel with little baby exfoliating like beads in there so you kind of get the best of both worlds because like after you use this your body feels really moisturized so i really like it it also has more of like a liquidy feel the tree hut has more of like a not liquid really more like a stiffer feel but it still does a good job but both really nice i enjoy the scent of the flake away uh, body scrub more this also has like a lotiony feel it's maybe a drop more stiffer than the previous one i just showed you guys but also beautiful on the skin and really affordable at the drugstore. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the other body exfoliators. Now let me show with you guys what's in here. So here's where I have like deodorants, lotions, creams, oils. In here I pretty much have hair products and skincare. Maybe I'll just save that for another video because I think this video is forever long. Let me know if you would want to see that. But yeah, let me show you what's in here. So firstly, I have the Clean On Me um, body wash this is really good it smells great it goes well with the with their body cream and then the exfoliator the only thing i hate about this is a pump sucks so it takes forever to pump out the product i did finish up a decent amount i do like it but it could be a little bit of an annoying process i also have the 
Tree Hut Coconut Lime Shave Oil. I finished off a decent amount of this. I like this, but I have the Kopari one and the Ahava one in my shower now, and I actually prefer those um, more than this one. I just don't feel like it's as hydrating as I would like, but since it is more affordable, it still does the job, but if you're looking for something nicer, the Kopari and Ahava ones, I would say, are better than this. I also have two of the Cocoa Butter um, Body Oils, so I'll typically spray this with my lotion or body butter just to create a little bit more of like an oily feel. I also know that these oils are great for the skin, so I like to have them on hand. This is a lotion that I don't necessarily use. I think I got it in Ipsy or Boxy. I think it's decent. It's a, the Body Souffle Cream, so I have it in here in case I want to use it at any time. I also have the Unfiltered Raw Sugar Body Butter here. Um, I think this is decent. I'm not fully in love. The consistency seems nice, but I don't really love the scent, so not one that I'm obsessed with, but it's okay. Next, I have the Glycolic Body Lotion. This is new to me, so I haven't used it yet, but I have a different lotion from Pixie that I'm almost done with. I think the Milky Lotion, and I really, really like it, so hopefully this is going to be nice. I also have a few Bath & Body Works goodies here, so this is the Candid Violet Sorbet. I first purchased the shower gel from this line and felt like literally head over heels so i went ahead and purchased the body cream their body creams are really nice i didn't expect it so, um sinks in really quickly the la the smell lasts pretty much the whole day and is very moisturizing so i've been really loving their body creams lately so i have this one and i have this at the beach scent as well which i also really really like such good summer staples for me this right here is new to me the pharmacy honeymoon glow body um serum not gonna lie this does not smell amazing um I want to see what it does for the skin though just because it has AHA and BHA and it's more of like a serum for the body and I'm kind of like what does that really mean? They did send it to me in PR. Um, I smelled it, wasn't a fan, um, but I haven't used it in my body yet so we shall see about this one. I love the packaging though and I'm happy they're coming out with body products so we'll see. Next I have the Bomb Dia Bright Cream here. This is really good. I actually did finish off a decent amount. It's definitely more like a sweeter scent. The train is passing. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But I really like it. I think it's amazing. I have other ones that I'm using now, so I put this in here for now, but I really, really love it. I also have one of these little ones, the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I've gone through a few of these. Um, but yeah, I just have this little one in here now. I like it. I like the um, Bomb Dia Bright Cream more than this one, but this is still pretty good. A wonderful summer scent for sure. Okay, next up I have these two deodorants. Dove makes my favorite deodorant. The Advanced Caroline is my favorite. And then the Even Tone one is actually pretty good too. Um, these are just backups because I go through deodorants so fast. I always have BO if I don't put it on, you know what I'm saying? So I just like to have them handy. The Apple one smells pretty good. And then this Even Tone one, Calming Breeze, is also nice. Kupari did send this over. Um, it's their coconut oil deodorant. So I have that one over there that was opened and I used for a little bit. And then I have a new one. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like I've used it for a pretty significant amount of time. Um, but then after a while, like my underarms were really like they were itching like crazy. So I don't know if I should put this to the test again or not. Let me know if you've tried these, what your experience was, but I have them here for now. I also have this Tom's natural deodorant as well, which I haven't tried yet, but I got in a Target box. So hopefully I'll be able to put it to the test soon. I also put the Body Glow products in here as well. So I have one from e.l.f. This RCK one is from Ofra. This one here, right here is from Ofra as well. And then I have the Becca one. So I like to mix these in with my lotions, with my creams, if I want to get like that glittery, like very summery, like bronze look going for me. Not even necessarily bronze, more like glittery, I would say, but just in a very fine way. So I have these here because I have a few other ones out now and these are like just backups, I guess. And then as for body butters, I have the Tropic Glow one by Tree Hut. This smells amazing. It goes really well with the scrub. Love it a ton. Um, great quality too. It sinks in beautifully and the smell lasts. I also have the beloved Cherry Blossom and Tea Rose body cream. This is nice. It does also sink in pretty quickly. I'm not in love with how this smells on my actual body, but not bad. I do still like it, but it's not my favorite. I have this one right here as well, the Vitamin C Body Butter. This smells so good. Same quality as the um, Tropica Glow one. I think that's what it was called, um, but beautiful on the skin. Great consistency, I love. I also have the Righteous Body Butter here by Soap & Glory. This is my second or third one. This scent is amazing. It also goes well with their scrub. I've given one or two of these to my sister. She loves it as well. It just, 
it smells good. I don't know how to describe it. It just smells very like alive. Next, I have the Flamingo Deep Nourishing Cream. This sinks into the skin probably the quickest when it comes to body butters that I've personally tried. It has the cleanest, lightest scent ever. Just like perfection at its finest. You could find this at Target. I love. And then lastly, I do have the Burt's Bees Mama Bee Belly Butter here. So I'm not a mom, but I did lose 70 pounds. So I got stretch marks and extra skin. Um, so I figured I would, you know, try this out and see what's up. Interesting consistency. I'm not fully obsessed with it. I don't know what it is about it. The consistency just feels weird and it doesn't have a scent. Like it's almost scentless in a way. So with this one, I like to mix it in with others and I haven't used it for a significant period of time to see a massive change, but I would like to. So that's why it's still in here so I can be consistent with it. Um, and then just pull it out and use it for like, I don't know, 20 days straight to see if I really see a difference. But the Mama Bee line, like, looks good. I love the oil that's part of this line. I'm almost done with that one. It's in my room. But with this one, I wasn't that obsessed with. But also, I didn't really give it, like, a solid amount of time, you know? So, anyway, we got this in here as well. Okay, so that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to put these goodies away now. But let me know if you do want to see, like, my hair care little bin um, and skincare goodies as well. Maybe I can kind of include that maybe in a vlog or something. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Let me know if you tried any of these goodies, if I'm missing out on any other body care products, creams, lotions, exfoliators. And yeah, I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below. I will see you guys in my next video.